You know, I used to think that my pussy was a hallway because my shit was so wet. Like Niagara Falls, what? Wet. Okay. I have thoughts on sucking a fake titty, whatever, you know, it's like, but, but I don't act on them as much as I used to act on them. I don't see you guys. I don't hear you guys. I can't read anything in the chat. I just have the sense that you guys are judging me. If you got a girl to have a number five wetness, that means she's got gorilla grips and you're even better. And I want to create like a crochet of them and have them like hanging. Okay, now I sound psycho, but I'm not. That we don't even need to go out, you know? Fuck vitamin D, okay? I'll look for some my own D. Hi guys, this is Flowski. You guys probably know me from live streaming, your Instagram reels, your TikTok shorts. I'm that Vietnamese girl that does the hello, how you doing, honey? That one. Um, welcome to my podcast. I actually never thought I'd be doing this, but welcome. Uh, my podcast is Flow and Tell. At first it was Flow and Tell, but then um, it's on a website and it's like some women empowerment thing. So I don't want to take that. And so I decided to do Flow and Wait, flow, apostrophe, and tell. Yeah, I didn't make that up. Okay, ChatGPT did that for me. So thank you very much, ChatGPT. Uh, yeah, so I'm very excited to be doing a podcast. It's really fun. And it doesn't feel too out of my comfort zone, actually. I feel like I'm still doing my live streaming stuff where I'm just talking and talking and talking for a whole hour with you guys and then going into gaming but this time it's like pre-recorded. I think it's kind of fun because you guys don't know what I'm doing behind the scenes. And I don't know, this is, it's new, but it feels familiar at the same time. I just like talking about random stories and I like letting you guys know my inner intrusive thoughts. And I'm so done with being filtered. Like when I first started streaming, I was so filtered and I've decided, fuck it, okay? I'm not filtered flow ski anymore. Okay. This is why you've seen the evolution of my growth. Like I have been telling stories that if you guys have watched me for a really long time on Twitch, you've heard those stories before. I was like a little bit boy crazy back in the day. So that's why some of my stories are repetitive because those are real stories that have happened in my life. I'm just not as boy crazy as I used to be. Dude, I used to have like lists of men like as a virgin hunter in high school that was me okay i had a list of virgins that i wanted to take their virginity for some reason i was like "Ooh, this guy looks like a virgin you know that the population of virginities in high school was at sky high and i was gonna go and look for them so I created a list, at least 10 was my list. You know, I didn't want it to be too high. Okay, wait, but I didn't fuck all of them, okay? So before we jump into that, I did not fuck any of them. I only like would make out with them and just give them the good gawk, a few of them, okay? Cause some of them, it didn't fall through. But you know, even if I had a list, it didn't mean that I was like getting every single dude, okay? I was not cute back then in high school, first of all. I was like a Kevin Nguyen, and I was not attractive. I had lots of acne and I would, I would say that I literally, if I could pull up a photo right now, I'm just going to share it to you guys. But yes, this is the photo <laughs> of what I used to look like. Um, it's not a joke. Okay. I thought that I was like a tomboy at one point. I literally thought that I was going to be into girls um, because my very first interaction with like a body was a girl in like eighth grade and it was it was very weird I don't know why but I was pretending because I knew she liked this guy and I was just wanting to pretend that I was that guy that she had a crush on so she would like call my house phone and I don't know how I got away with this I was like pretty good at it I guess but I was like hello and she would say um, I guess I could say the name because I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, his name was Nathaniel. <laughs> I'm like, hey, my name is Nathaniel. And she would say, um, oh, like Nathaniel, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember that much of it. And then um, he, I'd be like, yeah, just don't tell anyone that I like you and stuff like that. And I would grab like my sister's 
stuffed animals that she would just get from like guys and stuff like that because I wasn't that cute to any of them by the way and I would just take them and then put them in that girl's locker and pretend it was from Nathaniel but it was actually from me and I would say like oh Nathaniel's my cousin and that's why we're so close and he's always at my house hence why I was able to change my voice very quickly from Flo to Nathaniel and then we did like a sleepover and I was like hey do you want to practice kissing Nathaniel and she was like sure so we like made out and I don't know how I had the energy the fucking boy vibes to do it but I grabbed her titties I was sucking them I fingered her hairy pussy and it was it was it was yeah it was very interesting that was eighth grade yeah and then I lost my virginity in ninth grade to an actual dude okay that was like my first guy boyfriend and then um I thought I was like so experienced back in high school so I was like you know what I'm gonna create a virgin list all the nerds will get a taste of Flosky's tongue and lips and Gawkins and oh that was um the start of my virgin hunter but I stopped it didn't last very long I would say that the virgin hunter list was probably a year um I don't know why I'm attracted to virgins think that I like to excite them maybe I don't know but I don't think I think that way anymore. I'm not really sure. But yeah, these stories are real. And um, I'm not as wild as I used to be. I think I'm more tame. Maybe I have intrusive thoughts. I have thoughts, okay? I have thoughts on sucking a fake titty, whatever, you know? It's like, but but I don't act on them as much as I used to act on them, you know? Anyways, so back to what I want to tell you about podcasting we are doing podcasting and i'm very excited that you guys are part of this i hope you guys are sitting back drinking your beer whatever you guys are drinking my outfits are going to be calm and chill it's just we're hanging out okay it's just like my live streams but i know that some of you guys don't really have twitch and so i figured okay why not just go in and uh upload on spotify because if you don't have twitch you gotta have spotify if you don't have spotify you're, i'm gonna be on youtube i know everyone watches youtube i'm just trying to reach out to more of you guys out there okay we are friends and i'm the type of person i want to trap you if you're my friend and ask my real life friends I'm the type of person that wants to trap people, okay? It's not like a crazy trap. I'm not like trapping you guys because I'm crazy, okay? I'm trapping you because I just like friends that are always available to hang out with me. And so it's just, I, I don't have a lot of friends. So if you want to be my online friend, here is where we start. Okay, I love online friends my ex-boyfriend for four years we're still friends to this day we've been friends for like eight years now so we dated like eight years ago we met online through league of legends so like not saying we're gonna date you guys we're all dating here sorry guys but we're i just want to grow a friendship okay i'm trying to I want friends. I, I don't have a lot of IRL friends. And so I figured, and I have a connection with online friends. Online friends are awesome. You get to play video games with They're They're always at home. They're always available. I just like, I just, I, you know, my, I only have uh, like three or four IRL friends and I want to create like a crochet of them and have them like hanging. Okay. Now I sound psycho, but I'm not like, it's just like, it's just like a thought process. It's like, I just want to have him hang him. Like, what's up? Good morning. Wake up in the morning. Like, hello there, Ty. <laughs> hello there, Benji. And um, and just like have them hanging there. So I did take photos of them when we'd hang out. And um, thankfully, thankfully, we have Etsy who will, somebody on Etsy is going to create like a little crochet of them. It's like little pals that I have. Is that weird? I don't know. Tell me if that's weird. I feel like, if you're a girl, maybe you'd understand. But if you're a guy, I feel like you guys are judging me right now. And I just, I don't see you guys. I don't hear you guys. I can't read anything in the chat. I just have this sense that you guys are judging me. <laughs> I feel it. Don't judge me. Anyways. Um, but yeah, this is, okay. So let's just start from the beginning. Um, I want to start a podcast uh, the reason why I got into the idea of podcasting is I like to thank you guys in the comments for actually 
writing the comments and saying stuff like, Flo, when are you going to do stand-up comedy? Or you should totally start a podcast. And I was like, wait, okay, so let's look at the both of them. Stand-up comedy, nah. I initially was like, maybe I should do stand-up comedy because I just don't, but I, I'm more of like an impromptu. Like I do have a script-ish, like more like a topics that I want to talk about, but I don't even look at it. Like I just kind of go on the whim and I like doing impromptu stuff. I'm not very much of like a script person. I can't, it just doesn't feel authentic to me. And so that's kind of why I decided not to do the stand-up comedy. And also you have to actually be on stage and talk to like a crowd of people. And I'm just not ready for that yet. One day I would love to podcast in front of a crowd of people and just talk to you guys. But it, there's like less expectations, you know, we can talk about anything. But with stand-up comedy, I have to come up and think of like jokes and then you guys are there expecting for jokes. I've always been the type of person that I cannot pass any tests that you guys give me. Like a guy. If a guy throws a test at me, over my head. I have no idea what you're talking about. If a guy wants to have expectations, over my head. Like be straight up and tell me what you want. Don't give me tests and don't do like passive aggressive things because I'm just like la la la. Like I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what you're going to do and say and what you want from me. Okay. So yeah, um, but yeah, then I was, so I appreciate all of you guys, the comments, I do read every single one, the hates, the love, like I take everything into account. I appreciate all the support that you guys give to me. And um, technically, like, I think for me, how I know I love what I'm doing is that you guys, hold on, let me scratch my cooch. Okay, H how I know that I wanted to get into this is because I know that you guys love me and in the comments, it makes me so happy to see that I can make you guys laugh and I can entertain you guys and I've brightened your day. And if I can do that, awesome. Cause that's something huge to me. I used to be in healthcare and I got my master's degree in respiratory therapy. It was, it was not a career path that I wanted my whole life. I've always wanted to be an entertainer. At first I wanted to be a singer and I would stand on the bed and I'd be like, you get the best of both worlds and pretend I was Hannah Montana. I would buy all her CDs and I would autograph it in my own handwriting. And then I'd pretend I was giving it out to people, but I was like giving it out to nobody. And then I would like grab people's hands on the ground, pretending it was like people. I used to memorize Zach and Cody, the sweet life of Zach and Cody, their script. I would like download it on the internet. I memorize it because I also wanted to be an actress. I just wanted to be in the entertainment space. I never thought that streaming was the beginning of it. I just did streaming for fun as a side hobby as I was pursuing my master's degree in respiratory therapy. And from there, I just loved it. I would stream twice a day and then it got to the point where I was starting to get depressed in like what I was doing and realizing that I was only doing this for my parents really and it wasn't something that I truly wanted to do within myself. And so I figured I would finish my master's degree just to make my parents proud. And then I would go into continuing respiratory or and continuing streaming. Um, I only had like 75 viewers at that time when I wanted to go full time streaming. I, was, I knew in my head, it's all about manifesting. You guys, you have to manifest what you want. If you know you love what you're doing manifest it so hard because that's what I did. If I don't manifest the things that I'm doing, I feel like I don't achieve it. And so I'm manifesting Spotify so hard right now. I want to go big. I want this to work out so badly for me. I will work really hard for this. Um, I think it's because long-term it works for me, whereas Twitch is more of like a short-term thing. It's, I thought it was long-term, but the burnout the anxiety the people that will leave you at some point like I've created bonds with people on twitch and sometimes everyone has a life and you can't help but see that they're gonna they're gonna leave and it sucks because that's not what you want and so I decided that you know what I think long term I might do podcasting and as I kept thinking on it, I realized that is the route I want to take. And so 
Um, I do sit and think a lot about what I want to do. I thought I was going to do DJing. I thought I was going to do, this is as I was streaming. I thought I was going to do all that stuff. And, um, I realized that podcasting was just the perfect space for me. And I hope that you guys are excited for it as much as I am, but it's okay. If you, if you don't see it yet, don't worry, you will see it. If you guys do see it. Awesome. Let me know. I love the encouragement. Um, yeah. So, but a quick tip that I want to give you guys, I, I, I'm not, I don't know if I give advice well, or if I even give you guys advice, I think I just make you guys laugh and happy. There is one advice I do want to say a quick tip is like, for me, I've always been the type of person that just doesn't give up. Even if there's people out there that says you're not enough or you're not going to make it. Do you know, I did not share my, to my parents. I was a full-time streamer making money until a year later. Because no one believes in you in the beginning. That's normal. Nobody's going to believe in you. It's embarrassing to post in the beginning to post your lives, your Instagram reels of you streaming or con being a content creator when all your friends see it. So you want to go and post it on other Instagram platforms. I get that. But don't. Like only just do it. Like that is like the motto in my head that I've constantly told myself is just do it just click record and post something you also have people that will edit for you they're usually like five dollars you know i i think that you should edit for yourself first just so you know what you want and then you have an example of what you you want your editors to do if you can visualize it you can picture it there is so much content out there you can grab inspiration from them and then edit it yourself and then show your editor and they'll recreate it in their own creative way because that's what they do. And so um, definitely try your best to ignore the thoughts, your own thoughts of people actually don't care a lot about what you're doing, actually. And so if you want to be a content creator, you want to be a streamer, you got to just do it or anything in life. Just forget what people say. And this is why throughout this journey, I actually didn't have a lot of IRL friends. All of them were busy going out and, and like playing pickleball or traveling and stuff like that. That just isn't my time frame yet. It's not in my time frame. And um, a lot of the times growing up, people always thought I was going to fail because I didn't do good in school. I was just not a good student. I never did homework. I I got excited getting like a 28% in biology. And I would like scream to my friend across the room like, yo, what'd you get? And he's like a 30. I'm like, oh, you beat me. I got 28. Like it was embarrassing, but whatever, you know, like I don't care. And I think that, um, you can hear people talking shit about you. I got to a university and they're like, dude, she's going to drop out. Guess what? I didn't drop out. I could have, but I'm the type of person that doesn't give up. Like I keep going, even though I suck at it. I hate school, and but I just kept going. And so that's what um, kind of made me realize that that mentality and that drive is what keeps me going. So yeah, I would just... Don't give up. And I know you hear this a lot, but I think the biggest thing that would prevent you from giving up is just to ignore what people say about you. Maybe what they have to say can be helpful, but if you've just started your journey, just ignore it for now. And then later, take everybody what they say with a grain of salt and just go for it. Um, yeah, that is like the biggest lesson I have learned through my journey doing this and I don't know if you guys are watching me while driving please be careful if you're driving um I don't know if you guys are watching me while eating or whatever it is but I want to be that type of friend that is so real with you guys okay I'm not I don't see myself as an actual famous person and sometimes you guys, I, I went to TwitchCon and I, that was probably the best experience of my life is people coming up to me and saying, hi, Plusky. And like, I'm like signing their badges and taking photos with them. I have like, I don't know if it's imposter syndrome, but I just don't feel like I am that person. Like I'm not Flosky. I am Flosky, but I'm not 
the famous Flovsky that you guys see. I'm so like normal. I'm just like, I just like talking to people. And if this is my way of talking to you guys, I'm so happy to do it. I want to talk to you guys and I want to build a friendship and I want to be vulnerable. And this is why I don't care what I say on Instagram and TikTok. I love haters, actually, because like it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. I'm always like, yo, if I can get on the cusp of being canceled, cool. But maybe I, I, I you know, maybe I'll regret that. But <laughs> I just... I get it. Some people are not going to like me and some people are going to like me and that's okay because those of you guys that like me, I'm here for you. Um, but yeah, if there are any topics or questions that you guys want me to talk about and um, we'll talk about random things, okay? It's everything and anything. It's basically what you guys see on my Instagram reels and TikToks, but longer versions on YouTube and Spotify. I'm going to try and have it set up everywhere else like Apple Music. I think that's what it is or Apple Podcasts, whatever it was. One of them. Um, I'm going to set it all up for you guys so you guys can watch me everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is the start of an incredible journey. I'm going to have some guests on too. So I think that will be really cool is to be able to share my experiences with them and their experiences with me and then we can laugh about stories and get their perspective on things so you're not just getting a Flosky's weird unhinged perspective also thank you guys so much for loving my Vietnamese accent I'm not really sure why it's so funny but it's funny I agree it's funny but I don't know why it's so funny a part of me is like is no man really funny <laughs> but i like i'll go to parties and they're like oh you're viet i'm like yeah and they're it's like no man and i'm like oh okay no man no man no man like it's like what's up homie type of thing when you meet like vietnamese people so i don't find it funny i'm just like yo you know no man me too so i think that's why i think it's funny but um if you want me to teach you a couple of vietnamese sayings sure you know unload it unload it is a good one. If you don't know what it is, go to your Vietnamese friend and ask them what is unloaded and say that Flosky taught you. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope that you guys will enjoy this podcast just as much as me. Um, I will be uploading every Wednesdays and Fridays. I'm still getting used to understanding this whole process. So if you have any tips or if you want me to just whatever you guys want to say, go for it. And I'm really excited to start this with you guys. You guys are amazing, amazing people. Um, I think the closest people to me are my online friends. And so it's amazing how many relationships you can really create through online that we don't even need to go out, you know, fuck vitamin D. Okay. I'll look for some, my own D dude, by the way, you know what I was crazy. I really want to talk about really quickly. When you think about a pussy, right? The pussy, like I've got different types of levels of, of wetness. Um, level 10 wetness, if you put a dick inside that, it's like a hallway. You know, I used to think that my pussy was a hallway because my shit was so wet, like Niagara Falls wet, wet okay? But I think my wetness now is like at a five. So I'm thinking like, you know, I got more of a gorilla grip than a hallway. So just so you know, that was just like a little thought in my head. Um, I don't know if it's a fact or whatever, but, uh, you know, just, just, just think about it when you're fucking a girl and she has a hallway it may be because she's dripping wet. Okay. So it's a compliment and, and maybe, maybe you'll dick that good. All right. But if you got, if you got a girl to have a number five wetness, that means she's got gorilla grips and your dick's even better. So it's not always about the dripping wet. Okay. A 10. Cool. You know, she's just horny. A five dripping wet is like the perfect viscosity, the perfect fluidity and wetness perfection to the point where you are shoving your dick in there and she's gorilla gripping it and suction cupping it like a flashlight, but 10 times better. Okay. 
that is my thoughts for the day and i just thought about it it was like shower thoughts you know and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful rest of the whatever you're doing and please drive safely if you're listening to me while driving because i do listen to podcasts while i drive please drive safely don't laugh with your eyes closed okay because you're driving and you never know you're especially never mind not gonna go okay listen i'm asian eyes are small if i laugh i can't see that well so make sure you guys laugh, but keep your eyes open. Okay. Cause we don't want to see, we don't want anything. Full ski doesn't want anything to happen to you guys. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you so much for watching me and listening to my podcast. Welcome to flow and tell. Let's get this shit started. Okay. Dokey. Okay. Bye guys. I love you so, so much and have a great, whatever you're doing. Okay. Bye-bye.